My name is Hao Ran Liu. This video is the presentation of my research proposal. The topic is which kind of technology has better efficiency in CV treatment in Shanghai, as BR or MBR. The topic number is 14, Global Access to Clean Water. Water security has become a global issue in recent years. And how to save and reuse water depend on the technology of CV treatment are drawing more attention in many countries, especially in China. As BR and MBR are recognized as two approaches that have a potential future in Shanghai, as well as they have a lower environment impact. The purpose of this study is to compare with these two methods and prove which one has a more useful in Shanghai for sewage treatment. This paper describes the current waste water treatment situation in Shanghai and discusses the current application and the challenging of the MBR and SBR process respectively. Both SBR and MBR are suitable for a city like Shanghai and the treatment effect is more important. Water quality simulation of these two processes require change in intake water quantity as well as water quality and temperature. And we will compare the MBR and SBR from these three aspects. Treatment effect, treatment cost, and feasibility focus on the policy part. The results show that SBR process a good effect on environment pollution. And the SBR process has a good effect on environment pollution and it can be basically ignore the fluent of intake water quantity and keep the affluent water quality from pollution but the handling capacity is small and cannot be operated in the winter. Although the affluent quality of MBR process is up to the standard, it is very close to the maximum standard value, and the fluctuation will pollute the water body, and the cost of SBR is more lower than SBR. Therefore, consider the environment SBR was finally selected as a new sewage treatment process in Shanghai, and the old process was used for the replace treatment in water. To sum it up, SBR is a more suitable new process for Shanghai sewage treatment. What needs to be improved in the future is the efficiency operation of this process under a lower temperature condition. There still will be a long way to go for Shanghai to totally solve this problem. But, depend on the technology developing, these issues can be slow, uh, slow soon or later. And uh, this is all my presentation. Thanks for listening.